All right, guys, it's crunch time. And we're gonna see if we can meet the deadline for this customer's Mexico Jeep bill. Hey everybody, it's Bud with Exos Jeeps. We build badass Jeeps. So we're in the final episode of our Ultimate Mexico Jeep Build. This episode, you're gonna see us install the Dynatrack Pro Rock 44, the Pro Grips. Gosh, you know what? There's just so much going on in this video, I can't even remember it all. We're on a time crunch. We're waiting for the axles to show up still. We're waiting on the brakes to show up still. We're looking for the tires to show up still. The drive shafts to show up still. A lot going on in this video, and... Pitter patter. We gotta get to work. Let's get at her. FedEx has shown up. They had the 37 inch trail grapplers that are going to go on the Mexico build, as well as the Adams front and rear 1350 drive shafts. Blake's going to park himself on a seat and start mounting them to the uh, XD232 bead locks. Once he's done with that, then he's going to move on to installing the Artec skid plate and the Adams drive shafts to the Mexico build. So we just got unloading the FedEx freight truck, had a, a pallet on it with a couple of Dynatrek Pro Art 44 axles. One of them is going on this build and we're going to set up on the jack stands and Bo is going to start setting up the gears and the locker in it. Uh, once he's complete, we'll take it to the front of the vehicle and we'll go ahead and install it to the control arm and prepare for the final installation of the front axle. What we got here is a Dynatrack Pro Rock 44 Unlimited housing. Half inch thick axle tubes, very heavy duty in forgings on the C's, pro steer ball joints, got some caster built into it. I mean, this is about as heavy duty as a Dana 44 can get. As you can see, we're running an aux locker in here. One of the few companies that builds a differential uh, with a fabricated diff cover to go on the Pro Rock 44. In fact, I don't think there's another company out there that makes a fabricated diff cover for the Pro Rock 44. So. Not only is he getting one of the best lockers on the market, but he's getting a heavy duty uh, fabricated diff cover to go with it, which is pretty cool. This is a 35 spline differential. If you guys don't know what all these numbers mean when we're talking about spline count on axle shafts, 
27, 30, 32, those are pretty much the common uh, splint counts that you see across the JK platform. What that means is the number indicates exactly what it says. It's the amount of splines are on the shaft. The more splines, the bigger the shaft. So in this case, we're going 35. That's about as big as you can go in the JK D44 platform. Inner shafts are going to be 35 spline. Outer shafts, stub shafts are going to be 32 spline. Nothing we can do about that unless we go to a free spin kit, which we have done in the past. But in this case, customer chose to go with just, just keeping uh, things simple on the outside. So the guys are going to bolt this up now. We're going to cycle the suspension. We're going to make sure everything's good to go there. I have a sneaking suspicion we are going to be cutting off the shock tabs that are welded on the Pro Arc 44 and welding in some other ones that came from AccuTune that will allow us a little bit more droop or a lower mounting point for the coilover itself. But before we start cutting things off, we want to verify that 100%. So now the guys are going to bolt this thing up and uh, we're going to see where that puts us. So we have to cut the uh, up or lower control arm bracket so the top of the control arm actually clears that full droop. Installing the fuel tank, we had to take it out because why? We did so much cutting and welding around that area. It's safer to take the fuel tank out. Now we're reinstalling it. Oh, you okay? oh. yeah, I went in my nose. <coughs> That's the worst. I think I'm getting the black lung, Bob. I'm good. I didn't get my eye, but I got my nose. Are you done? Okay. <laughs> In addition to the Dynatrack axle and ball joints, uh, we also added the Dynatrack Pro Grip brake system to make sure this guy can stop on them mountain pass roads out in Mexico. Whoa, that was close. The benefit of this is a much larger rotor, which is surface area. You can see these different caliper cages that extend out to accommodate the larger rotor. And they also come with a different uh, proprietary brake pad that uh, has a little bit more grip to it. Relatively inexpensive kit, right around $1,100 for the front and rear kit, but is gonna add a lot more stopping power, which is really important on any build where you're running 37 inch tires. You wanna have a lot of stopping power. What's great about it is that it's not very invasive to the brake system itself. Unless you're adding extended brake lines at the same time, really you're not gonna break into the system at all. You're just going to be moving the calipers out and compressing them so you can put the new pads in and everything like that. But you shouldn't be opening up the system and, and getting any air in the lines by adding this upgraded brake system. Whereas other systems, the other guy's brake pads do require that. So great addition to this build and I think the customer is really going to like it. All right, we just got the Genrite corners in from Powder Coat. They're looking really slick. The guys are going to 
start installing them now. On the back of the JK, they'll also be installing some off-road only light dot tail lights in here, uh, which you'll see really cool, really nice, clean look to them. Totally blacked out when the lights are off. And then as well as the Genrite aluminum rear tire carrier. Some last minute pieces going on before this build is finally done. It looks like we're almost done. Bo and Blake are working feverishly on the Mexico build. Tying up a few loose ends, a little bit of stuff like these LED marker lights on the fenders. Blake is making some adjustments on the coilovers. We'll back it out, do a little bit of shake it down, bounce it around a little bit, make sure the coilovers are set where we want them to be. And then I think the last thing we're going to do is weld on the LOD sliders. Finally. Made in test drive of the uh, everything. Jeep hadn't been off the lift, did 100% of the work. And now we're gonna go test drive this thing, see how it drives, make some adjustments, and give it over, hand the keys over. A few minutes later. Super smooth. Yeah? Yeah. Real, real smooth. Everything handles really great. We're just going to do an oil change on it real quick. While the slider's on, Blaze can make one more modification to the skid plate and we'll be good to go. Well, that's a wrap. The Jeep is pretty much done at this point. The only thing left we need to do is, I need to weld on the LED sliders. We're doing an oil change on it. And one minor adjustment to the skid plate, the Artec skid plate in the back. The Jeep rides fabulous. Honestly, I haven't driven a coilover suspension as smooth as this, but really when you take into consideration how much goes into the building of those coilovers to this specific Jeep, we wouldn't expect anything less. Jeep handles fabulous. The PSC Big Board box is amazing. It turns those 37s like nothing. He'll be able to take it out on the trails with those 35 spline axles and not have to worry about any kind of damage whatsoever. The 1350 Adams drive shafts, again, pretty much bulletproof this entire build. He's got some great Baja Designs lights on it. He can light up the dark when he's out there. He's got the worn Xeon 10S winch on the front, always be there when he needs it. There's just so many great things that went in this bill. I mean, every single component that the customer chose through either his own research or our recommendation has made this Jeep outstanding. I mean, it really is top shelf. I think it's gonna last him a long time. He's gonna get great performance out of it and he's gonna enjoy taking this thing off road. That's it for this build and uh, stay tuned for another one. any of Bubba's builds, adventures, or tips, click here to subscribe and click here to watch another video. Stay tuned.